Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is Friday, January 27th, 2023, about 29 degrees outside and we woke up to a couple of inches of snow on the slab. So partially my fault, I didn't check the weather last night before I went to bed, I didn't really realize it was going to snow. I might have turned it on, I might not have. Um, you know, one of the reasons I'm a big fan of the manual, of doing it manually, is for the YouTube videos. and. Again, they're recording right now. I actually turned the system on about almost an hour ago. I turned it on right at 7 a.m. And I also did a pretty cool uh, FLIR startup video. So stick around the next minute or two and, and you guys will see that. I think you'll like it. But I am recording on one of the new cameras with the heated lens, which I'll show that in a future upcoming video. But yeah, uh, you know, regarding the sensor, I get asked a lot, you know, Chris, wouldn't it have made a lot more sense for you to have this all automated so that it comes on overnight? And yes, if I had the full Tecmar automation package as soon as at 1, 2 a.m. whenever this started and it was below freezing, the sensor would have sensed it on the slab and turned on the heaters and this probably would have been clear. Uh, unfortunately though, for me and what I like to do here to show you guys this melting, that doesn't make for a good YouTube video. Um, yes, I could still do a time lapse, but you guys would just be watching wet concrete because it would pretty much be clear as the snow came down. So anyway, I don't mind turning it on manually. I'm about to leave for work here anyway. We'll turn it on, I'll let you guys watch it melt, and it'll be totally clear and safe by the time uh, Grandma comes back this afternoon with the kids. So, you know, no, nothing lost for us. I'm not here anyway, so it'll melt while we're gone, and it's still perfectly safe. So anyway, Thanks for being here, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the uh, startup and the thermal imaging. Okay guys, it is exactly 7 a.m. here on Friday, January 27th. Let's go ahead and fire this up. I'm gonna do something cool here for you guys. I'm gonna uh, hook up the, the little FLIR on my phone and see if we can get a thermal shot of this heating up. Okay, so the heater's just kicked on, as you can see. The, uh, got some pretty cold dry call, both coming, going out to and coming back from the driveway. So this is a return. This is the supply. The bottom is the return, obviously. And now as the heaters start to heat up, we'll start to see that primary loop really start to, uh, to cook. The heat exchangers behind that wooden insulated enclosure there, that's the primary loop pump. But yeah, you can really start to see this thing come alive. You can start to see the heated glycol heading out to the driveway. So this is of course reading the surface temperature of the packs, it's not really reading the actual temperature of the glycol, it should be pretty close, but about 84 going out, what are we showing on the gauge here? Yeah, we're showing a little less than that, well actually it's right on, we're showing about 78 degrees on the gauge going out, so it's pretty close. So yeah, I thought, thought you guys might enjoy uh, seeing that shot of it in action there. And that's all it does, is circulate. So if you follow this, the return is in the back. And the return comes down with all that cold glycol. And you can see the difference in the pipes turn is in the back. Return comes in down there on the bottom.
comes out in the back there. Hard to see with all the stuff in the way, but. And it's funny, it's showing it cold, but it's only showing it cold because this is so much hotter, which this is the 140 coming right off the heaters, but really that's the heated line that comes down and goes through the uh, air separator, the, goes over to the expansion tank and then comes down around, comes back up the supply and back out to the zones. So looking at the heaters, you can see where the nice and cool air is coming in from the outside and the hot exhaust is going out. So yeah, thought you guys might uh, might enjoy this. I do need to get more insulation on the, that copper. But anyway, uh, the system is on, so get ready to enjoy another nice time lapse. Thanks for watching, guys.